the most perfect makeup that you can wear on camera. This makeup look is gonna make you hit up your best friend and be like, we're doing coffee, we're doing pictures this Saturday. I have been on camera since I was in high school. So this is the product of many, many years of trials and tribulations when it comes to what products look good. Y'all better believe the next time I go and get my little driver's license picture, I'm pulling up in this makeup. I can just see it now. So if you wanna know how to do that, keep watching. Let's take a moment to thank today's partner, Dalba. Y'all know glowy glass skin is my absolute favorite. And as you can see, my natural skin without product has a little bit of a glow, but I love enhancing it using Dalba products. I'm genuinely obsessed with the White Truffle First Spray Serum. It is a portable one-step glow. All you have to do is shake it and spray it. You can do it before makeup, after makeup, throughout the day and it gives you the most luxurious, plump, glowy looking skin. Dalba also makes one of my favorite intense creams. This is the double cream and serum. It has two formulas in one jar. I absolutely love this because I can create a custom formula with every application to meet my skin's exact needs. I personally like doing equal parts of the white truffle aqua serum and cream, and my pro tip is apply this to your neck for an even more hydrated, radiant glow. It looks so good and gives even the driest, most sensitive skin the most most soothing, calm, and hydrated feeling. I get my Dalba products on Amazon and these are seriously holy grail items if you're like me and want hydrated looking glossy skin all the time. Odd fact about me is I drink hot water all day every day. So I'm gonna start off with my lip prep. You guys know I've talked about this in my last couple videos, but this is my Amazon lip balm that I swear by, like I'm so obsessed with it. I think it's really good. As you can tell, I already have lashes on today. I feel like lashes for me are the thing that really make me feel awake and look real. If I don't have my lashes on, I don't feel like myself. I'm taking my Smashbox Photo Finish Primer today. I usually like to prep my skin with Korean skincare, but sometimes when my skin is too dewy in photos or when I'm filming, it just looks Oily. I really like this primer. It is hydrating, but it's not like a sparkly glow I'm gonna kind of focus on each feature individually and the first thing we're gonna do is create a really even Pretty skin tone not too glowy not too matte somewhere in between priming spray from rare beauty on my face as well To make sure that this lasts if you're gonna have a really long day of taking pictures or if you just want your makeup to stay on for a long time Priming your skin is really important. I don't know if it's bad that I just put this on top of my primer, but also you guys, this robe, I thrifted this from Goodwill yesterday for $3. Tell me that it is not a dupe of the Matilda Durf, like Durf Avenue. Like it's just cloth though. It's not the fuzzy robe material. It has little flowers and strawberries on it. I've been really taking this coquette thing seriously for my entire life. It's not just an aesthetic for me. So I am so obsessed with this robe. My favorite foundation ever is the Rare Beauty one. I use the shade 380W. Yep, this is 380W. This is definitely more of my winter shade though. Always use a slightly damp beauty blender. I actually like get my beauty blender really soaked with hot water and then I press out as much of the water as I can. Like you don't want it to be wet. You want it to be like just really soft. The girl who did my makeup for my first ever Fashion Nova shoot in LA. Like I was in the Fashion Nova warehouse. It was like her first day on the job and she recommended these to me because they're so soft. Like when I tell you, these put beauty blenders to shame and they're like less than $20 for a giant bag of them. This one tool is one of the biggest takeaways I got from my time working with makeup artists in LA. I'm also gonna take just a tiny bit of this Euphoria skin tint. This is the shade 390 and also you guys i'm gonna put all of the products that i use as always in the description box below with the shades and everything because sometimes i do forget another really important thing with makeup particularly skin makeup is how well the products work together because you can have products that are really good but if you apply it in conjunction with the formula that just doesn't do well with it it's gonna look bad it's gonna look cakey so i really like the Rare Beauty and the Euphoria together because they're both really creamy and they like melt into your skin. Don't be afraid to have different shades on different parts of your face, especially if you have melanin, but also this is across the board for everybody. I'm just really blending this out, trying to make it look as skin-like as possible. I usually hate concealer. I am not a big conceal and contour person, but when you're taking photos, what tends to happen is the flash or the environment or the camera 
washes out some of your features so when i'm specifically doing my makeup for photos or for videos i do like to add a lot more highlight and shadow than i normally would just to enhance my features and make sure i don't get super washed out so this is the hourglass concealer i'm just going to lift my face a little bit i'm gonna do a couple of dots here on the side of my eye to give me the cat eye effect and then i'm gonna also do a little bit here to lift up my brow also probably going to go over that area with some highlighter a little bit right there a little bit right here i'm going to grab a tiny little concealer brush and cut my brows out okay trust the process babe trust the process i was watching one of Haley bieber's valentine's day looks or something the other day and she was doing that like Mary Phillips um, underpainting technique where you put your concealer and your bronzer and everything on first. You know, it's kind of like drawing your skeleton onto your face. Honestly, I probably should have done that for this look, but I forgot. So but that's another reason that I really like cream products. I feel like it looks really natural. I also don't like to bring it too far into the center of my face. I prefer contouring like kind of more on the sides, like more on my profile pay attention to your face shape i think that is also another really slept on makeup tip y'all like you know once you understand your face shape you can find other celebrities or makeup inspo on pinterest from people that have similar features to you or similar face shapes to you because it really does make a difference i used to actually try to paint a different face onto my own actually probably bella hadiz and madison beer's face onto my own face and it just wouldn't turn out right and that's because i don't have the same bone structure at all this brush is really weird it's like a flat brush i like to use this to blend out underneath my brows though i feel like it does a really good job if you want to fill in your brows this is the time to do that i'm just going to do a clear brow gel this one is my absolute favorite i feel like it really puts my brows in place let's go ahead and do our lip combo real quick club hopper by nyx I know that I love this Honest Beauty like lip and cheek tint. One of the reasons I like it is because it's very customizable. Like I'm putting such a small amount on right now, barely any. I'm gonna warm this up because I think a warm lip always looks good on my skin tone. It just makes it look more pink and less dark. I also like this because it's hydrating and it looks good, but it's not like shiny gloss bomb vibes. Optional, I'm just gonna put a little bit of that remainder of whatever i put on my lips to contour my nose into a fake little button nose real quick i feel like giving myself a little bit more of that california glow vibe right now i got this new palette from smashbox halo this is in the shade back to cali so it's a sculpt and glow face palette these are the colors in here i mean i don't know what this light brown is gonna do for me like this light brown is definitely not gonna contour my face but these colors are really pretty and I see that they are matte. I'm gonna mix these center two colors. What are they called? Cheers, babe, and rose gold. This is where the face shape thing is gonna come into play again. If your face is similar to mine, I recommend putting blush kind of like on a side angle of your face and at a higher point. I hate having blush right here. Like I don't have enough cheek for it, so. Somebody commented under one of my recent videos to watch Tam Cower. You know, I think it's really important to have the presence of mind to not use social media as a place to compare yourself to others. Although inherently we do kind of do that. But one of the things that Tam Cower said in her video that really resonated with me was curating her feed to be only people that she genuinely talks to and also people that she looks up to so that is one of the small changes that i'm gonna try to make over the next couple months taking action to like become the best version of myself and do what i can to uplift you guys and those around me what i'm gonna do now is go ahead and set certain areas of my face that i know will get greasier throughout the day and also like eye bags things like that we're just about to airbrush okay so i'm taking my how to beauty powder and I'm putting a little bit on the sides of my nose. This is where I tend to get really greasy and creasy. I don't really have concealer under my eyes right now, but I do tend to have a little bit of like a shine and a glare because I have eye bags. So I'm just gonna try to make it more two-dimensional, you know? 
I do like a little bit of shine on the center of my forehead so I'm not gonna do too much powder there. Also, if you have any freckles or beauty marks on your face, girl, I want you to start embracing them in 2024, okay? Because my little freckle is one of my favorite things about my face, especially when you're doing photo ready makeup or something. If you are blessed enough to have freckles and little beauty spots, it really makes your entire face look super natural when you embrace that, so. Do you guys see how pretty this is? I would avoid doing any type of like black or white eyeliner on your waterline because black liner is going to make your eyes look a lot smaller and also white liner sometimes just can like look a little unnatural. Um, it does open your eyes up, but for me right now, that's not the vibe. So I'm going to leave that. If you want to open your eyes up even more, what you can do is put a little bit of gold eyeshadow, like really thin line. I don't want this to be super noticeable at all. So... Make sure that you're blending this out with your finger. This is such a subtle little difference, but it does make a difference. Like I feel like this eye already looks better than this one. So I'm gonna take a little bit of that color and just add some details and a little bit right here. Okay, so those are the two points that I like to do, especially for a picture day because you are like flat on you know what I mean so this adds a little bit of that glow back into your face without being greasy and since I have really warm undertones I like this because it's more of a golden color if you have a cooler undertone you can use a more shimmery white color it's just like a stark contrast so it'll look really good as well last step I'm gonna grab a tiny bit of powder bronzer this one is from Charlotte Tilbury just because we're taking photos I want everything to be nice and defined very light dusting girls like we're not trying to be way too contoured it needs to still look good in person i feel like this entire look is about controlling grease levels for one and two really playing with shadow and light in a pretty way like we're not trying to do way too much but, but i'm telling you like whenever i do my makeup like this the photos come out bomb and make sure it's like a gradual change right here you don't want it to be a harsh line no harsh lines allowed in this look i'm just gonna set this this particular setting spray does add a very skin-like glow which is so pretty but since we're taking pictures i'm gonna kind of control that glow a little bit once it's dried down take a tiny little bit more of hot up beauty powder and go on those greasy areas that you don't want to look greasy so for me that's my under eyes every single time. I just do not want any shine right here. I'm cool with shine right here. I love some shine here, but controlled. So, you know, making sure it's not too crazy. This is our completed photo ready face. This is such a pretty look. Also, if you just want to tone it down a little bit with the contour and highlight, Overall, just like really good products for every day as well. So as always, you can find everything that I use in this video in the description box. I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.